for most people groove is a steady thing uh, when it's an obvious like a nice beat that's a groove but I think that you can also hear and, and play grooves that it's not necessarily tied to the grid and to, to be in tempo like uh, I, I've been enjoying listening to I mean there was this guy named Ronald Shannon Jackson, a drummer that I found really inspiring when he came around like mid 80s. Again, I was referring to like the more polished slick bands at the time of the 80s, but then I found uh, this guy Ronald Shannon Jackson. He, he made an album called Pulse, with, which was only improvised drums and he had a headset and he was reading Shakespeare poems and playing drums. And it was such a force, you know, and sometimes he plays themes like uh, melodies and stuff but these patterns and themes and grooves were were not always in tempo it was freeform drumming you can say but still it has a musical meaning and it had it had colors and textures and vibes that was like a composition or like a groove which appealed to me i think it's it was um, it opened up um, a new world for me when I heard that and there was also examples of that sometimes when I got bootlegs of Frank Zappa when I was in my late teens like improvised um, parts in the music were uh, really good play playing between Vinnie and Frank like mid uh, late 70s I, I had also drum solos by Vinnie where he played um, quite different from what he plays now I think it was, um, you know, there was there wasn't always a beat, but there was there was uh, it was just music and, and groove. But the 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 result is just equally good from from these drummers. So so that's uh, I like that type of groove too. And often when you know if I do drum clinics, people. Um, Usually, I think that people too often think that a, a basic thing is just easy, you know, doesn't require anything and it's, anyone can do that, you know, but um, I don't think so.